A father from Vermont and his eight year old daughter have been identified as the two people who were killed in Monday night's collapse. More than 30 others were injured, some of them seriously. Ray Brewer joins us live this morning in Lancaster to tell us what people inside that tent are saying about the tragedy. Good morning, Ray. Good morning, John. Many of those who were inside the tent when it collapsed say they are still shaken by the incident. We spoke with one little boy who was injured when the tent collapsed on him. Nine year old Jason Ravida was at the Walker Brothers International Circus Monday night with his dad's girlfriend and another family. He says the wind picked up and then the tent collapsed on top of them. Everybody was yelling and they. We're, they were screaming, and then we were trying to get out. We we all got out. Jason suffered an injury to his head and needed 13 staples to close the wound. I was running and I slipped, and then that's when the pole hit me on the head. Sad, uh, mad, kind of you know down about it. I mean, especially for him, have to go in through all this. A father and daughter, 41 year old Robert Young and 8 year old Annabelle of Concord, Vermont, were killed in the collapse. Authorities say they both died of blunt force trauma. 32 others were injured. The National Weather Service says a microburst coincided with the tent collapse. Wind gusts estimated at 75 miles per hour. Witnesses say people were running for their lives. When everything started falling, oh my God, people were screaming and getting out of there. You could hear kids crying. Chaos. <laughs> people all over the place. Um, we, we just ran to the car because you couldn't see, you really couldn't open your eyes and see because the, the hail and the, the rain was so, you know, strong. The state fire marshal says the circus did not have a place of assembly permit, which was required. It's unclear if the owners will face charges. Well, their responsibility is for the safety of their guests. And, uh, you know, whether they knew or not that the storm was coming. Now, the circus has called off two performances that were set for tonight in Grafton, New Hampshire. At this time, the circus's performance uh, website rather says that four performances on Thursday and Friday in Kentucky are still on. Reporting live in Lancaster, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.